Hello mga kasangga! Welcome to my channel, Pearl TV and Travels Vlog. Mga kasangga, the BPI celebrate the financial freedom with stability and sustainability. They invite our Queen Bea Alonzo, the ambassador of BPI, to share to us her journey about stability and financial sustainability. Narito ang kanilang usapan. About financial sustainability, kasama si Queen Bea Alonzo. Let's watch this, guys. We would like to call in our next guest. She is the face of BPI's hashtag BPI Sustainable With You campaign. And rightly so, as she practices sustainability in many aspects of her life. In fact, she owns and manages a farm called Biati Firma, a solar powered. 16 hectare organic farm. Wow! That provides livelihood to locals in Zambales and has its own waste segregation system. Galing talaga. So, this talented lady is a successful actress, mm -hmm. a homeowner here and abroad, a farm owner, a businesswoman. Talagang hashtag life goals achieve oh, and nakaka inspire. Yes. Today, we will hear from her own journey towards success. Let us all give a warm welcome to Miss Bea Alonso. Ayan na po si Miss Bea Alonso. Of course, ayan. Escorted by Mr. Manolo Nava oh, from BPI. Power of woman talaga. Kawai po siya sa ating fans. Yes. She's not only beautiful but very talented. Smart entrepreneur and a very passionate woman about sustainable sustainability. Hello, Hello. What an entry. welcome on stage. Oh, grand yes. Hi everyone, how are you? Excuse my voice, it must be the season. No? Yeah, it's okay. Hi. Hello Ayan. everyone. My BPI family is here. Hi. Yeah, so this lovely lady actually celebrated a milestone three days ago. Yeah, My birthday. Happy birthday, <laughs> Happy birthday, yeah, Bea! Birthday. Thank you so much! Thank you I'm so happy I got to celebrate you. Thank you. Okay, so I guess you can sit. I will take it! We know you're super, super busy, so thank you for thank being you. here no, with us No, thank you for having today. me, BPI. I'm very happy to be here. Thank you. Okay, uh, Bea, to begin, uh, I must say it's truly inspiring to see your remarkable achievements at such a young age. You were able to acquire properties here and abroad, travel and enjoy life, no? Can you share with us your uh, journey to financial success and the key decisions no, you've made to attain in stability in your finances? You know, I started working when I was 13 years old. Wow, 13? And yes, and I come from a family with very low income, so I immediately took on the role of being a breadwinner right mm. away. And I guess maturity in the aspects of finance um, actually came with the responsibility of being a breadwinner. And um, at that time, my mom and I decided to buy a house right away and take care of the necessities and the basics like owning a car yeah. to get from point A to point B because it's very important right. for my job. Now, some of, I, I guess other people would say that it's not a wise decision to own a house right away. Why not, you know, place the money into business or investments that will generate money and I agree with that but for me because uh, it's always been my dream to build a home for my family and 
it was really quite important also for me with my job at that time. And I also think that real estate is one of the best investments that you can ever make. And plus, I got a loan from BPI at that time and eventually I was able to pay it off. And I was able to sell the house at a higher price eventually. So nice. I guess what I'm trying to say is to always prioritize the basics and mm. your necessities before you could, you know, place your money or spend your money on things that aren't as important. Mm. Yeah, I remember we had a conversation before. You were talking about like how some young people they just immediately want to buy a bag. That's you know? true. And you were actually I, I really enjoyed that discussion with you because like you were quite shocked about it because at a young age you had to learn how to finance uh, uh, you know how to manage finances at such a young age mm. that's true and you know what they say that you know it's not how much you make it's how much you spend yeah. I believe in that talaga because the more money you make the more ways of spending it you will <laughs> think about yeah. you know because in our line of business it's easy to get swayed to get like the latest bag or the most expensive jewelry the most beautiful car but you know, I'm all for rewarding yourself from time to time because you have to maintain a certain balance too. Mm. But I guess the key here is to never live beyond your means. Mm. I believe in that. So for your next question, what is the hardest part about managing your finances and how did you overcome these challenges? Um, I think um, it's very important to have a bank partner like BPI to help you out with money. And it's, Im it's very important for them to, you know, show you or tell you from time to time about the newest uh, investment opportunities that will really help you out and just really lend you a helping hand when it comes to finances. You have to believe about I have to believe these people about these kinds of things because they know best. Right. So getting the right partner, right? Get, Someone who has advice. expert advice to give yes. you. And, uh, you mentioned yeah, that you, you started a very, uh, at a very young age in show business. And um, while other people might say that it was easy, you know, being in show business brings in the big bucks, but uh, I'm sure there's a lot more to it. No? You had to make a lot of careful uh, decisions no, to really set you on the right path to make sure that you succeed um, and you save and invest to get where you are. Um, what are some of these things na parang, parang key moments where you had to make uh, these critical decisions that you can share uh, with our audience? Alam mo kasi, I, as I said kanina, I started very young. So meron din mga hits and misses and I'm very happy and very fortunate that my mom was there with me like i had investments like restaurant investments that re didn't really fly and i guess it's normal it's also nice to you know make um investments na that are out of your comfort zones because you'll never know so sometimes you can do that but, but as long as you have a stable job and like other money streams you're covered just having that balance. No? Yeah. Of course, uh, you know, having that stable income stream, but also making um, it's a conservative ako when it comes to money. Because nga, I've made a lot of like bad investments in the past. I have learned. And so now I'm more conservative, I would say. So having this mindfulness, learning from the past. And as we see that you, as you shared, right, mindfulness of how you spend your hard-earned money mm -hmm. because it's the way to ensure your family's future, your own future. Um, does this mindset also help you decide to actively practice sustainable, li sustainable living? Um, walk us through this journey. What made you walk this path, this journey about sustainability, this passion you have? With I like that word. I think that's the key word here, mindfulness. Before we do anything in life, we have to be mindful. We have to pause and think, how is this going to affect my future? And I think that also applies to different aspects in life. May it be finance or environment or even in relationships. And uh, you're talking about sustainability journey. For me, my sustainability journey started when I purchased a piece of land in Zambales 20, I mean, not 20 years ago, 12 years, years ago. Was just this? 12 years ago. 
and uh, we turned it into a farm. It's now called the Atifirma. I was able to see firsthand and experience firsthand the effects of our past choices on our environment. So, there. Nice. Let, let's talk about the Atifirma. How did it start? Was it, was it always your dream to own a farm? Yes, it was. It's always been my dream to have my own farm. And we chanced upon, we stumbled upon this opportunity when somebody was, um, you know, selling us that piece of land. It was a raw land, pa, wala pang mga tanim. Only one tree survived. So we built a memorial on that tree because it was really special because, you know, it represents survival for us. And so, yeah, the rest is history. We developed it. So with your farm, how did you make your farm sustainable? What are the practices you put in and what did you have to invest in? Oh no, it's a learning process. We now have uh, solar panels wow. across the farm. So it's solar generated. We separate our waste. Um, we recycle. We don't use pesticides. We don't use sprays and many other things. And these options are actually more expensive, but I believe in the long run, it's more sustainable. So a farm is also yes. an entire community, right? And sometimes it's hard to get people to practice this, right? So how did you start it off with the people that work with you? That's true. Tama yung sinabi mo, it's a community. And in a community, I believe there are rules. There must be rules. And we're just very fortunate that we have a group of people who, you know, are willing to follow rules and who are willing to educate themselves about this very important cause, just yeah. as we educate ourselves too. And I guess it's also about looking after each other. You know, so you don't know it all, naman eh. Sometimes you make a mistake, and it's nice to have a person call you out. You know, or sometimes you don't know a certain thing, and it's nice to have a person who would sit you down and say, "Alam mo, mali, I think it's more sustainable this way." Mm -hmm. So it's always a constant conversation, and you know, it, it's it's nice to get to talk about it all the time. And you can do this in a kind manner. You don't have mm -hmm. to like cancel anybody out. Like I don't like cancel culture. Now instead of like canceling them, you can educate them. And I think if we work all together, we can, you know, create a better or bigger impact on a larger scale. Galing. So um, it's not just on a personal level, but you were able to get the like, community to buy into that vision. Yes. And even openly contribute you know, to, to making it uh, sustainable. That's true. And it, it's also a form of bonding from, for all of us. Because hindi lang sa amin ang gagaling yung tips. Like we listen to our staff mm. because sometimes they know better. Right. So being open to the conversation. It's always a collaboration. Right, right. Okay, so Given your dedication to sustainability, how has this, you know, this word sustainability changed your perspective and influenced your choices in life? No, how has it trickled down to other aspects of your life? That's a nice question because I think there has been a shift. People are more aware about sustainability, about how our past choices affected our environment, our planet. And I think we are more becoming um, conscious about our day-to-day -day decisions these days. We tend to like um, support brands and industries or companies that promote or advocate towards sustainability. Like for instance, I think we now tend to spend on like energy saving appliances, mm, yes. renewable energy and solar and um, what else, uh, upcycling. And recently I went to Vogue, the Vogue Gala. They were actually promoting re-wearing. That was the theme of the entire evening. The evening. And I think that also affects our daily finances. Mm -hmm. I think we get to cut costs because of it. Right. Like because of us reassessing our priorities. Mas gusto natin long term na. Because we want to create a positive change in the future on the environment. Mas nakakatipid tayo. Yeah. Because personally, that's, that's what I have been experiencing. I've been wearing, I have been segregating waste, recycling. Mas nakakatipid ako. So interesting from environment, it's also brought into um, 
into the fashion industry. Like what you said, that yes. was unheard of to repeat something, right? And then now it's more yeah. Fashion. There was before because there was a stigma that you cannot rewear clothes. It was yeah. badoy at yeah. that time, but now it's actually a much appreciated. It's actually cool now, which Style. is great. Yes, because we're more conscious. We are more aware. Moving into a, 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 a higher priorities in life, right? Okay, so given your dedication to su sustainability, how has sustainability, um, sorry, I yep. think I asked, oh, sorry, changed your perspective and influenced your choices in life and your finances? Yeah, I know. Um, yeah, I think that there's sorry, this question. That was <laughs> sorry, so to wrap up this beautiful discussion this afternoon, what's the best advice that you can give to those people who look up to you for inspiration? on their financial and sustainability journey? I think financial sustainability is very important for growth and stability in the future. And in order for us to do this, we have to be prudent. Mm. So meaning we have to manage our expenses, we have to you know, manage our budget less than our expenses, uh, maintain a stable job, if you're happy <laughs> with your job, or I think also very important is for us to generate other income streams. And one thing talaga, based on experience, one thing that is crucial that I realized and I have learned is for us to, you know, lessen our liabilities and prioritize or increase our assets. Okay, these things may sound difficult now, but believe me, you'll thank yourself later. <laughs> Galing, no? So talagang, uh, well, it, it really start, it's not glamorous itong sustainability, but slowly you make an investment and really parang uh, it's for the future to make it, to make our world you know, greener. Yeah, what's nice place. is that like um, sustainability is a lifestyle. It's yeah, not nice. just about the environment. It's about sustaining a good relationship. It's uh, about sustaining the planet and sustaining your finances. It's mm -hmm. a lifestyle. Galing. So making those lifestyle choices, yes. anyone can do that, right? Yes. It shouldn't be so, such a foreign thing anymore. You making, do small changes. Yeah, small in your, changes uh, in your daily life, then you can contribute to the sustainability of the of this world, yes. right? All right. So. Yeah. Thank you very think, much, Bea, for sharing with us your you. financial and sustainability journey. Thank you so much. Is there anything else you'd like to impart? Any key takeaways? No, I'm. I'm just really happy. I just want to thank BPI for doing this in the festival. And I hope you guys will get inspired today to make wise financial decisions and wise sustainability decisions. So thank you for having me. Thank you. And thank you, thank you also for inspiring us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, before you go, I uh, would like to give a token, appreciation, token of appreciation from BPI. Well.